everyone. This is David Schaff. I was just uh, recording this for the 21 days of prayer to talk about uh, my prayer life of, of late. And <clears throat> so I'm just going to share with you all that it is, uh, like many others have probably said, that uh, this year has been uh, obviously fairly uh, difficult in, in being able to uh, really get out and do things like what we normally would. Um, and it's been rough in my own circle of uh, for pretty much this whole year. We've uh, run into uh, just not really being able to be with family and friends like we normally would and having to do things over uh, over the internet with them and so it's it's been a little hard on the whole family of not being able to see uh, cousins and aunts and uncles and grandparents as much as we would uh, would like so um, and other things that have uh, been a little rough and hard to deal with are uh, my sister and brother-in-law's marriage is sort of in limbo right now and they are not sure if they're going to stay together so uh, there's been a lot of prayer uh, along those lines uh, so the other things that have made this this year difficult other than the obvious uh, uh, coronavirus and COVID is um, one of my uh, good friends at school that I teach with and I had his daughter in class um, ended up finding out near the end of the first semester right around Thanksgiving time that she had a brain tumor and uh, they ended up going in and doing surgery and first said we don't think that it is uh, cancerous and then after they ended up running tests they ended up finding out that the the tumor was cancer and it was a uh, a pretty bad one where basically they said that uh, doctors basically said uh, kids her age usually only live about five uh, to ten years after being diagnosed with this type of cancer but they did say they were optimistic about her chances uh, and with the tumor so um, also having uh, a a teacher in my department uh, leave at at uh, around that same time at the semester and having to try to hire a new teacher uh, definitely made things all around that time a little uh, a little rough and difficult to to deal with and uh, so and then obviously everything else that was going on in the world with uh, just politics and, and things like that. That was uh, a little bit difficult because of just uh, family and friends that really felt strongly uh, and were opposed to <clears throat> views that my wife and I have and just finding it sort of hard to um, understand without actually being able to get with them and be able to sit and talk with them um, and and see their their viewpoints make it uh, made it a little bit hard as we went along so um, again that's those are the things why I'm saying that this was a, a difficult year for us and being able to to do all of those things um, have all of those things occurring um, and 
also at different times sort of just almost feeling uh, ashamed to be an American and at times uh, questioning uh, whether like I not I was a Christian but various friends and family that I have whether or not they were really truly Christians from their actions and things that I saw throughout the year and again not being able to uh, be in person with them and and talk with them about things so again those things were were difficult and just difficulty of not being able to uh, go and help those family and friends that were in need just because of what's going on in the world today so there were lots of times where I felt like there's nothing I can really do for them and it was frustrating but then I ended up getting to the point and in hearing I don't remember where I heard it from but uh, just from a certain point in time deciding that my whole goal for basically now and trying to do this forever is to look at these different situations and know that well if I can't physically do something that's okay um, because really the a lot of I, I often thought this way and I know a lot of people think this way is well the I'll, I'll pray for them because that's the least I can do and that's really where I've been been wrestling with things and thinking that that was the least I could do when really that should be the most that I can do for uh, for the people in my life is to be lifting them up in prayer uh, and doing that regularly. Um, I, I, even before all of this, would would pray for family and friends and and things regularly. Um, but it, I find it now as not like an afterthought of oh, well, it, I, at least I prayed for them. Um, I am, I am looking at it as like sort of because of the situation that we're in is really at times this is the most that I can do is is for example lifting my friend and his daughter up in prayer um, and doing that as much as I can uh, and praying for healing for her and. Uh, just they're they're not believers as well and just praying for them to uh through this experience be able to turn to uh jesus and so it's uh it's again something that i think has been beneficial is having all these sort of difficulties come along and being able to to look at it as uh, again that like this is really what the Lord wants me to be doing is praying for these people um, and I hope I can keep that mindset when it gets to the time again where we're able to be able to um, spend time with family and friends and not have to worry about uh, getting sick and things um being able to uh to to continue to look at like them and say i need to pray for you and like hear things that are going on with them and then stopping right there with them and 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 praying for them at that point in time so um 
that is is again currently where I am with my my prayer life at this time. So I'm just going to close in a in a quick prayer here and uh, just Lord, I just thank you for just this world, Lord, and that everyone in uh, in my life and uh, for the church family, Lord, I just can't uh, thank you enough for just bringing us all together and and putting us here in in this uh, church body, Lord, and um, just ask you to continue to work in all of us and let us all try to uh, become uh, stronger in your in your word and just be a a lamp to the world at this point in time and just let us be able to let your light shine through us in these hard and difficult times as we uh, continue to forge ahead in these days and just um, let us all become uh, stronger and and wiser in, in prayer, Lord, and just Again, thank you for everything that uh, you give give us in our lives, Lord, and knowing that we don't uh, don't need to worry about uh, things that you will uh, provide for us as the as you know our needs more than what we think we do. I just lift these things to you in your Son's name. Amen.